In the previous video, we learned how useful timeline effects can be when setting up and game planning shots for comp. In this video, we'll learn how annotations can quickly be made during review sessions or even passed along to the compositing artist for more specific notes. Let's talk about annotations. Because we're still waiting for our robot assets to come in from the 3D department, so we might as well continue marking up our sequence here and get this really ready for comp and make any notes and pass along to the comp artist. Any annotations. I'm actually going to turn off this burn in for now. And let's take a look at some annotations we might need to make on here. So let's add one to this. Annotations right here in the top. You have this little paintbrush here. We can add an annotation, add the plus button. Now we can add it either to this clip we have selected, or we can add it on a sequence level, which is what you would see like these um, soft effects, how they're stacked on top of each other. Clip level would be more at this one as its, own, as its own personal annotation. You can add it for the current frame. You can set it to current item, so it only falls under the current item. In and out points that we might set, or all, everything, or just a custom frame range. I'm going to set it for the current item that we have here. I'm going to press new. And notice that created, scroll up a little bit. Or we created a new track automatically called annotations, and it created this little track item here for us that spans the length of this clip that we have selected. Now I can like choose a color if I want to make any particular color. We'll make a yellow, set the brush size if I want and create the brush here. We'll just maybe say, do this whole thing and we'll add text to it. It says, try different grades. Now these annotations are not baked in, so that way you can manipulate them anytime you want. You can delete them. I can select this and delete this if I wanted to. Hit delete button. I'm going to do that so we keep that. We'll try different grades on that one. All right, let's go move along. Setting up our shots for success. This will be reference. We can even put a little note on, put a note on here on this one if we want. Say hey, this one's for reference. Let's flip current item. We'll set this color to red. Reference animation. Because it's created a track item, you can manipulate this as you would any other item on the sequence or in the timeline. You can change the duration of that if you want. So it only lasts for a certain amount of frames. We'll keep going down the timeline here. All right, so we'll go with this one again. So notice that this particular point, the robot's actually going to walk through the screen and you see the actor just going underneath of it. So this time, maybe we'll add it to the clip itself rather than the sequence. And I'll show you how that works. Current item selected. And then we'll select another color here. Great. Sanitation. with the note robot will walk through the screen. All right, so you'll notice instead of this time of creating the annotation on the annotations layer, it actually created it on the clip itself down here. So it's only specific to this clip. If you try to add a new version in here, this annotation won't exist. So let's go ahead and delete that. We don't really need that for there, but that's just a I wanted to show you how that applies to the clip level. I would open that back up, open in timeline view. You can see there's an annotation track there that we can delete and get rid of. Going back to some of these other annotations, if you want to turn these annotations off from being visible and just click that on, they won't be visible. Click it back on, you'll be able to see them again. We can put another annotation here at this one. I'll add it at the sequence level for the current item. And we'll just say track overlay to panel. You can have multiple annotations in here. So if I were to add another annotation as well. Let's just create a new annotation for the, this. We'll create a new one. Make it blue. We'll say 
something like this with text. Oh, that goes here. You notice that it created an index for me, so I can select between these different annotations on here. Any kind of annotations that you make on here are actually going to be able to be passed through to the comp script and the comp artist because it's going to create an annotation node for you upon export. Exporting is what's going to be covered in the next video, along with building tracks from export, versions, and creating comps.